Hello, my name is Trifon Markov and in this video I would like to share my experience of being an immigrant artist from Russia, tell you a little bit about my background and show you my works and the process behind it. I'm a third generation artist in my family, so my aunt is a director of an art school, my grandmother was an art teacher and my mom is a painter. I grew up in a small town, Abramtsova, near Moscow, Russia, and now it's a very well known place, especially among artists, because in the 19th century the landowner Mamontov had invited a lot of uh, now very well known Russian painters, such as uh, Vrubil, Karovin, Repin, Levitan, so they would work there, and now they have a museum and a college there. As well as my mom, I graduated from that college, and certainly you can see the influence of those artists in our paintings. After graduation in 2014, my family and I moved to Portland, Oregon. And here I found a lot of inspiration, especially from local forests, because it's very mystical and fairy tale like so it reminds me of my homeland. During the last five years of living in the US, it's been really great to see how my style is blending together with local atmosphere. I get inspired from nature and people, so trees and musicians are my favorite subjects to draw now. In Oregon, I like to travel and explore local music festivals, and that's why I find people who remind me of Renaissance era musicians and minstrels. And now this is the theme for some of my projects. For me, it's impossible to work only on one painting at a time, so I usually have at least three ongoing projects where I can jump from one to another. You know, it's like for some people just boring to read only one book. Well, the inspiration from real life is really important too. I make sketches all the time and I never know when the right one will appear, but I always look for new subjects for my paintings. Sketches with only one line can show the very emotion you have right at that moment, only once. I pick those sketches that can express the atmosphere of that moment the most preciously, and then I paint them from my own vision. After I try to put them all together so the painting would represent the place where I received my inspiration from. And finally I have to make the painting look all cohesive. To make a living from doing art is not enough, so that's why I work as a caregiver and also take custom orders. So far I've done few interior murals and botanical motif and looking forward to create some outdoors. Another one of my favorite painting themes is custom portraits in medieval renaissance tarot card Game of Thrones styles. It's something really unique. I make a portrait and then express their personality with anything they tell me, like their favorite music instrument, a flower or a book. I have a lot of projects that I want to accomplish and there is nothing more entertaining and addictive than doing art, so I'm just gonna keep creating.